Hi, I'm Anna Olson, and this is Travel Tastes. In this series, I want to share a snapshot of our delicious travels through Turkey, specifically along the sunny Aegean coast. Our first stop was in Bodrum, a beautiful seaside city right on the Aegean. This place has incredible history and amazing architecture. You know, you really can get lost in the millennia of history that this region has to offer. But the Aegean coast also offers an incredible food experience. Everything is so fresh with a focus on the seasons. And I'd like to highlight some of the incredible culinary personalities we met along the way, especially when it comes to fine dining. On our first stop, we met up with Chef Damla, owner of Chi Restaurant. We're sitting under a 400 year old olive tree in a valley between the two sides of the Aegean Sea and we're in for a fine dining experience like nothing else. My name is Damla. I'm a chef and the owner of the restaurant. Chef Dama is amazing. Dama has a great sense of the seasons, what's available and where. Artichokes are in season, so this dish is a tribute. We've got butter-cooked artichokes, a raw artichoke slice, an artichoke crema under a sardine, and an artichoke fritter. And just as a little extra, a pistachio anchovy sauce. I love the creaminess of artichokes. This really does celebrate it. Honestly, this is such a romantic setting. There's so much to see here. 75% of our guests are Turkish, uh, but locals are probably like 20% of it. Fine dining is not so uh, popular in this area. Everybody says you are kind of a Don Quixote, Don Quixote. There is no alternative around, but yeah, here I am and standing. Good for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh, this is the green almond sorbet, yay. So pretty. I don't want to go home. <laughs> Our next stop was at Vino Local in Urla, where we met a husband and wife duo. Oh, and they're such nice people. The food was refined, seasonal fine dining, and I have to say, Saray's wine pairings were impeccable. I'm drinking a pet nat, so it's a naturally sparkling wine. Um, it's very fresh and light and fruity, and it's made with a great variety that has been recovered. So, lost and then found again. Erla is famous for its wines, and all of the dishes featured locally grown ingredients. While some of the dishes were Turkish, others had an international flair. So the ajuka is so savory, intensely savory, but with the sweet watermelon on top, it's refreshing and it immediately cleanses the palate. That's a great combination. Roasted pepper and watermelon. This dish is ethereal. It's almost more in the world of, dare I say, baklava. It has me questioning, are these sheets of pasta or are they sheets of phyllo? They're so thin and the filling so souffléed. That mild morel mushroom flavor, it's earthy, but gentle, the whole dish, ethereal. Mm. What I really loved was how so many of the courses were vegetable forward and very mildly seasoned to let the singular flavor of that local ingredient shine through. Sarai's husband, Chef Ozan, had recently traveled to Japan and it clearly made an impression on him, including how he served the local tuna. The bonito, the tuna, the fish is lean, the flavor is mild and delicate, but tuna has a meatiness to it. But with this treatment, it's so delicate. If you're going to have a plated restaurant dessert, it needs to have visual excitement. And I love the idea of the textural contrast. The pear, we've got the cold ice cream in the center, the poached pear, the rich chocolate sauce, the crunch of the almond and the tweel. And then over to, I think, this dessert is gonna to speak to me. It's inspired by a simple Turkish combination of yogurt berries and jam. And we've got a yogurt mousse with mulberry, a sorbet, a little meringue crunch on top. Oh, it's so beautiful. Tangy, tart, barely sweet. What can I say? So good. Amazingly, we still had room for dinner. Next up was a stop at Ode Restaurant, still in Erla. 
I'm very happy to be here at Old, which is the old Turkish word for wood fire. I think we can count on a lot of grilled items. The nice thing when you're just three minutes from the sea is you can expect freshly caught fish. It takes a chef to know how to cook them and be gentle with the flavors. Looks like a dumpling, but it's actually sea bream tartare wrapped in a thin sheet of raw sea bass with a green applesauce and bergamot oil. Mm. It's ice cold, fresh, it's like sashimi, but with citrus and fruit notes, not sesame and soy notes. Oh. A lovely meal here at Oud. The sun has set. This is what's so much fun about traveling around Turkey is by what you eat on the plate, you know where you are in the country. And I think that's really special. Our final destination was this gorgeous, sprawling outdoor restaurant just outside of Alachate, a small village, but very, very quaint. What I really loved about this restaurant was our host, the owner and chef, made it so inviting, you felt like you were being welcomed into her home. The meze spread was set out at really what was a dining room table. And I immediately felt welcomed and at peace. Uh, my name is Aisha, Aisha Noor. Uh, and the place, uh, the restaurant, its name is Asmayapra. It's so easy to feel content here, just outside of Alachate. This restaurant embraces what grows locally in season. The meze is a celebration of spring. I've got about eight salads in front of me. Roasted lamb is on its way. And what I love is that our chef owner takes her primary inspiration from her mom. My motivation is my family anyway, because uh, we're an Asian family here and we uh, grow up in food like this and tables, all of us. So most of them are my family recipes anyway. My uh, family, the nature, what we grow, the bazaar also. If I go to the bazaar, I can choose a menu. When I walk through the bazaar, you can feel the love in the dishes and the subtlety. She knows when an ingredient needs a little attention and when you actually leave it alone. What I like about this style of meze is the preparation seems relatively simple, which when you think about it, if you're gonna put eight different salad dishes on the table, well, do you want to be spending four hours preparing it or a very little bit of time, quickly cook, and everything stays fresh and natural and simple? And I swear, I need to know where the hammocks are because I don't want to leave. I just want to curl up and have a nap. Like one of the local cats. I'm just going to take over. <laughs> we had such a memorable and delicious trip along the Aegean coast of Turkey. Seriously, I highly recommend this as a culinary destination. Pack your bags. It's time to go.